Good evening, everyone, and welcome to America's favorite cooking show, What's Cooking? starring Dick Wood. But what makes tonight's episode so special is that we'll be doing it live in the studio. So, without further ado, I welcome your host, Dick Wood. Thanks, Anthony, for that great introduction. It's a pleasure, as always, to be on the show. And I'd like to say thank you for the wonderful audience for tuning in. Now, tonight, we're going to be doing a very special dish, one of my favorites. Fried rice. Now, it's believed that the origin is in China, but the name of the city is... The city name was... Yang Ho? Yang Hao? Yang Zhe. Okay, seriously, who is the f who put this in the teleprompter? That's the unspeakable language. Just stick with China. What's so hard about that? God, amateurs out here. Okay, Dick, calm down. It's television. You're fine. This is why they have you in anger management. A spree. All right, sorry about that, everybody. Let's just go ahead and get right into the mess of it. All right now, folks and folkettes. Now, the beauty of fried rice is its simplicity yet variety. It's kind of like hiring a pool boy. You know, he can clean your pool, or, you know, he can do add a little variety to it. He can walk your dog, mow your lawn, or better yet, sleep with your wife. So, anyways, let's just go right over here. Our ingredient list is pretty short. I'm like that cool boy. First off, uh, we have our trusty rice that the studio provided for us. Thank you for that. I'm gonna put that off to the side over here. Next up is the eggs. Now I love me some scrambled eggs, and that's what exactly what we're putting in here. So let me just grab. Why did you warn me? God? Sorry, Mr. Wood. Ah, God, you're sorry, you dick. Sorry about that little outburst. Anyways, we have our rice, our eggs. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper for flavor. And of course, if I open up the secret cabinet of mystery, some salt. Every dish needs a little salt. So, without any further ado, let's check out on this rice because the first step to making fried rice is preparing the cooked rice. Now we just go ahead and open the What the f is this? Is this some kind of joke? It's fried rice! Not chow mein! What the f is this? Oh god. You people. This network is garbage! A few moments later. Mr. Wood, please calm down. You know what the doctor said about your heart. I don't give a Doctor said, what the f chef I know what I'm doing. Why is your chow mein instead of cooked rice? You know what? We're doing it live. You know what? We're already here. Let's do it. Okay. So, the first thing that we're going to do, of course, is take our fing eggs and beat them. We're just going to beat them real nice and good. Go ahead and take your fing eggs. Put them in there. While we're at it, let's turn the stove on. Turn that up on high. Give them just a, whatever you like. I like mine with a little bit of crunch in there. As we get those, I'm gonna go ahead and put those right there in the pan. Now, of course, I have my temperature on high because this is a live show. We don't have time to fool around, but the recommended time is medium. Where, of course, we're gonna add a little oil to this just so it doesn't stick to the pan. 
And while we get this underway, I'm gonna go ahead and have Anthony cut to commercial. Tonight's sponsor is none other than Baby Bucket. Do you have a newborn? Do you burp it but are tired of vomit getting all over your shoulder? Well, with the Baby Bucket, that's a thing of the past. Just put it over your head and neck and pow! Your baby is ready to vomit without the mess. Please note that this product is unsafe for children three and under. Now, back to the show. All right, Anthony, thanks for that amazing sponsor. Now that our eggs are pretty much done here, I'm gonna just go ahead and put these off to the side in their own little safety bowl. Or they'll be nice and safe. Go ahead and grab our noodles. Go ahead and put those in there. Now the whole point of putting the already cooked noodles into a pan is just to warm them up. We're not doing anything special. We're gonna add a little bit of flavor to them. But other than that, it's just mainly to warm them up and get them ready for the meal. So I'll just start stirring these up a little bit. And of course, don't forget your oil. Don't want your noodles sticking into the pan. Wonderful. Oh, I just love that aroma. So now we're going to just add a, our salt. And of course, we're going to add in some of our pepper. Mm. Oh, folks, that's smelling wonderful. Now with that getting pretty warmed up, we're going to go ahead and add our eggs back into the pan. And just mix everything around. Make sure it's all mixed up thoroughly and it looks delicious. Mm. I'm loving it so far. I can't wait to try this. Now I'm gonna add a little something special for my wife at home, who I love dearly. So I'm gonna add a little bit of breath poisoning. And you know what, I'm gonna add a few divorce papers in there too. Because fuck you, Karen! Mmm. Let that soak up. Soak up my misery and pain because I fucking hate this job. God I hate my life. Sick tired of this. Get out of here. Alright. Alright, folks. So let's just go ahead and put all that deliciousness back into the bowl we have the eggs in make sure you get your divorce papers in there although you can frankly add whatever i got spell great now i gotta clean that up all right you know what i can clean that up after the show let's just go ahead dig right into this all right we're trying it all these delicious having another heart attack. <laughs> some amazing fried noodles but it looks like we're gonna have to stop things there i hope everyone watching the show had a wonderful night and we'll catch you next week on what's cooking starring dick wood good night everybody hey guys i just wanted to add in something right at the end of the video i'm editing it right now actually and i just wanted to say Thank you to my dad for helping me make this video. I couldn't have done it without him. Or I guess I could have hired someone else, but where's the fun in that? I don't make that kind of money. But without him, it just, it would have been way more difficult to make. So thank you, dad. And if you guys liked it, 
consider leaving a like on the video and also subscribing if you're completely new to the channel. That's all I really wanted to add in. My first time really saying these kind of things. But, you know, I... I paid attention and apparently it can help boost your channel a little bit so yeah please like and subscribe thank you